What's happening guys? Welcome to another episode of Badge 3D. I just wanted to make this quick video for you guys to show you the best way to slice up a helmet to prepare it for 3D printing. Uh, this little tip's going to save you a ton of print time uh, and filament itself. Alright, so let's get into it. Now the software I use for my slicing and preparing uh, models for 3D printing is Autodesk Mesh Mixer. This can be downloaded for free from meshmixer.com. The first thing we're going to do is go into edit, then we're going to go to plane cut. Then we're going to move the plane up to the top of the helmet, and that's where we're going to perform our cut or slice. So remesh fill, accept, and I've made a mistake. So we're going to undo that. And we're gonna go slice, keep both, obviously because we wanna keep both halves of the model to print. And then we're gonna go down to separate shells. And there we have it. From here, what we do is we export both of our new parts of the model so that we can import that into our actual slicing software, so they call it. Uh, mine being Simplify 3D, so that we can send that to our computer to print. All right, so we'll put that into Simplify 3D. And obviously, we want to turn this upside down. So we'll go Command L, and then hit one of the vertices on the top. And this way, we're really going to minimize the support material used because it's printing from a flat base upwards. So add in some support materials just to show you how little we're going to use. Obviously we need to use a little bit for the eyes as there's some gaps there. And that's basically it guys. Hope you liked the video. Hope it helps. Uh, if you did enjoy it, uh, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.